everybody welcome to today's video today I am going to be showing you guys how I make my grocery list so currently we are just shopping for me and Michael so it can be pretty challenging to make a grocery list that feeds two people because a lot of recipes give larger quantities and larger servings so I figured showing you guys what we do and what works for us would really help some of y'all out. So the first thing I like to do is make my list either on my phone or my computer. Something that I really like is like checking off boxes. So on Google Docs, there is a check off feature. So if you make them on Google Docs, it's nice. But the con and the pro of making them on Google Docs is you can share them. So I can share them with Michael and we can go to different parts of the stores of the store. <laughs> but the con is that we have to to be able to check them off you have to like scroll up and edit the doc so like on your phone the keyboard is all stuck so i can show you guys so if i wanted to check something off i'd have to have this up so you can't just have it you can't just check it off when it's like this which really sucks because it's really frustrating to have to like scroll through and only be able to see like five ingredients at a time. I don't know if there's a specific way to fix that, but I haven't been able to find anything. The other thing I really like is the checklist on Notes app. So something such as this, that is what I found. Oh my goodness, the window. So something like this is what I found to work the best because like if you find the spinach first, it goes to the bottom or whatever. And also you can share notes with other people. We have not been able to find a way to share the notes with Michael to where Michael can actually access it. But we also haven't really tried because I... So I don't know if you guys saw when I was showing you, but I divvy it up. We used to always shop at the same Walmart. So I knew like the pattern of Walmart and what comes first, what comes next in the way that we, in the way that we shop, I know which order we go in. So I would in these like little subtitles, I would add it, um, so yes, that was very helpful. So if Michael knew that he wanted to go to the produce section, I could tell him what all was in the produce section because there's not like too many things in one section. It also keeps us organized in because something that I really struggled with when we first went shopping is that we'd have to backtrack the store. And now that we've gone here um, to different stores, we've also had to backtrack a lot because we kind of get confused on what is where. So I need to start mapping out the stores that we go to a lot. The first thing I like to do when making my grocery list is choosing which recipe book I want to use for the week. I normally try to pick one recipe out of just one of the cookbooks that we have, and that's what I like to go with. So this week, we're going to do the Binging with Babish cookbook and basically what I do is nothing super fancy I just kind of flip through see what looks good ask Michael like are you cool with this but he wants to make every single recipe out of this one that's kind of his cookbook definitely did not just drop it so I'm gonna pick one out of here and then I talk to him about it and then basically I look through see what ingredients we have and then I add to the list so let's do that Okay, so after going through the recipe book for about five minutes, I found one um, that seems simple enough for us to make in our schedule, and that is the buttermilk pancakes, ham, and coffee that is inspired by Twin Peaks. Don't know what that is, but there we go. If you guys do know, cool. So basically what I do now is I look at the ingredients and see what we need and I write those ingredients down. Okay, so it turns out we needed three ingredients from that recipe. We needed maple syrup, buttermilk, and ham steaks. So I wrote down just how much we need, stuff like that. I'm not writing stuff like two cups, but we do need like a specific amount of ham steak. So I would write down how many pounds or how many of them that we need. 
The next thing that I do is just kind of think like, okay, do I have fruit in the house? Do I have milk in the house? Like, what do we need? So something that I know, because this is for the week after we get back from the cruise, I know that we're going to need oat milk. So I would just add that into the products now. Me and, Me and my oat milk, man. I love oat milk. <laughs> um and then something else is fruit normally i write fruit under produce and i don't specify unless i'm really really craving something but normally i give myself like okay what's fresh like i just kind of go in and see what looks nice and then i get it i don't really know any other super general things that we would need so now so far i have one meal planned and general things like fruit milk eggs things like that i have all of that planned next on my list is to find the other meals that we're going to eat for a week because we can't just survive on a week on one meal that has four servings so i think about normally we tend to do three we tend to plan out three meals a week um just because then those three meals tend to have leftovers and we end up doing well or we have family that wants to have dinner with us so if we cook meals all seven nights of the week, that doesn't leave us open for dinner with family at all. So I need to pick two more meals. And this is when I go online and I kind of look, okay, am I craving chicken? Am I craving pork? What am I craving? I have actually stopped eating red meat now and I am focusing more on eating poultry. So I'll probably look at chicken recipes. I look at vegetarian recipes. The other week we were craving black bean burgers. We made black bean burgers, things like that whatever i am really craving that's what i make and that's the great thing about being an adult is that you can make whatever you want whatever you're craving go make it like make it at home you know it's great i think something i'm gonna try and look up is a um is an imitation chick-fil-a sandwich because i've always wanted to make a chick-fil-a sandwich at home because what if i like it just as much as chick-fil-a then i could have it all the time the chick-fil-a is actually like 20 minutes away from us here which isn't the worst but uh we have to really be committed if we want to make that drive so it'd be really nice to be able to make it at home in a similar amount of time if we already have the ingredients okay perfect i just added the ingredients for the imitation chick-fil-a or copycat chick-fil-a sandwich recipe to my list and that added about four ingredients that we are going to have to get at the store it was actually a lot more simple than i thought it's mainly just spices and we already have spices here which is another nice thing remember if you first move out and you're buying all these spices and your grocery bill is super expensive those are things that you only have to buy once and last you forever and you'll never have to buy them all at the same time again. You'll just buy them one by one as they run empty. So that is something that is a really nice thing. Now I did think about what I want for the third meal and I have no idea. Um, absolutely no idea. So I think that I'm going to search the web for a little bit and see if I can find anything. Okay, so I ended up finding my last recipe, which is a coconut curry ramen. I am really excited about that. It looks a little complicated, so hopefully we'll be able to find all the ingredients. But as long as we can find all of them, it's pretty easy. 10 minutes prep time, 10 minutes cook time. Really simple stuff. So I ended up putting all the ingredients into my list, and I wanted to show you guys what my list ended up looking like and here is what my list looked like so we have produce it's not all the way organized but here's basically what it is and then down here you can see this is all my meals that i have for the week just so that i don't forget so i have the copycat chick-fil-a sandwich and this is the recipe or the url for the recipe here is the place that I found here's the recipe I found in the cookbook and here is the coconut curry ramen website I am definitely no expert when it comes to this stuff but this is just what has worked for me and it took me a while to get to this place I always felt like my parents just kind of knew what they were doing and just went to the store and they kind of had a list but not really I really strive to stay super organized and this has helped me 
it has helped us not eat out as often it has helped us have more food stockpiled at home because we do buy pasta ronis and rice ronis and things for those extra nights where we don't have leftovers and we don't know what to do for dinner but for the most part that just kind of stays in the pantry so we're not spending money on it every single week and when we do use one I kind of take note of that and add more to our list as need be. Anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you are also able to take something from it and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!